right, we are back at the NFL Experience. We're at one of the obstacle courses here. My job is to take this ball, make it through the obstacle course, try to beat the record, which is 476. That's correct. All right. You tell me when to go. Three, two, one, go! All right, I did not break the record. Eric Fisher, I'd like to say that I'm not winded right now. I'm a little bit winded. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> not bad, though, not bad. Take the blazer off, man. Get into it a little bit there. You're looking very formal. Oh, the blazer, that's the reason. <laughs> that adds some drag, man. I'm the scientist. That's holding you back a little bit. You could have broken that record. All right, we'll that's check in true. with David that's again true. in a couple of minutes there. He's going to come back to the station talking about four touchdowns in one game like Al Bundy. Looking at our readings out there tonight, it's still a little mild outside, but we're watching some changes, and this is going to make for a really dicey drive late tonight and into tomorrow morning. What we have is a front that's moving its way off toward the east. You see some of the rain out ahead of it, but very sharp cold is right behind it, and we'll see that transition occur overnight tonight. Some of this not reaching the ground just yet, but some light rainfall starting to be reported in Connecticut. Temperatures, again, are still pretty marginal, but as we head deeper into the night, temps will cool, and then we're going to see that flip. Around midnight, we should be seeing the snow in western Mass and moving into central Massachusetts. And then as we head towards, say, 3 to 4 a.m., that snow is going to make its way toward Boston. By the time we hit 5 or 6 a.m., it's going to be down across Cape Cod and the islands. At the same time, we're watching these falling temps. Into the 20s we go. So we get the rain, then we flip over to snow, and it's going to come down at a heavy clip for a couple of hours as this band moves through. And then we're going to see everything freeze up sharply as we head into tomorrow morning. So temps into the 20s toward Boston by 8 a.m., that subfreezing air moving down across the Cape by about 9. The snow should be done for everyone by 9 a.m., except for perhaps Cape Cod, which will be done by about 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we're going to have things really freeze up, and it will be rather treacherous outside for the morning commute. The snow totals are not huge. It's just enough to cause trouble. Two to four across central Massachusetts, northeastern Connecticut. The type of system here that's almost like a spring-like system, where we have a little more cold in the higher elevations. You can get more snow out of it. In eastern Massachusetts, a coating to two. I think most towns are going to end up close to that two-inch mark as that band moves through. Again, it will be briefly very heavy early tomorrow morning. I think the worst conditions are 3 to 9 a.m., but especially in that 5 to 7 a.m. time frame where we have the falling temperatures and things really freezing up. So school delays will be a potential for tomorrow morning. Plan ahead. The later in the morning you wait, the better the conditions are going to be for traveling. Temps will hold in the upper 20s in the afternoon. It gets windy, cold, so I have to throw you a bone. How about some good news? Tomorrow is our first 5 o'clock sunset of the year. So we finally made that psychological mark, and 7 o'clock sunsets will be here before you know it in middle of March. Our wind chill values will be falling back in the single digits tomorrow afternoon and near zero by tomorrow night. They'll stay in that area into Saturday morning, so it will be a very cold start to the weekend. It's dry on Saturday, but we hold in the 20s. It's very much a midwinter day, and it'll be breezy outside. Then on Sunday, we've got a lot of cloud cover, but the winds go south again. We'll see some snow showers break out, but temps get close to 40. And as our next storm system approaches, it's likely that we'll change over to rain for much of eastern Massachusetts. This will be Sunday night into very early on Monday morning, and this system should be gone by early on Monday morning for most of us. Right now, it looks like a brief amount of snowfall changing over to rain for a big portion of the area, and then we could hold on to several inches of accumulating snow for areas farther off toward the north and west. But this track definitely favors interior parts of New England. So there's the full seven day. We dry out on Monday and Tuesday. Next storm system, also a mix of snow and rain, but right now it looks like more rain than snow. And we send it back out with the best athlete at WBZ, David Wade, back in the Mall of America.